Hello everyone, this is Mustafa Morayati, and this is the fifth part regarding our series of the arterial supply of the brain. And in this part, we are going to talk about the posterior circulation. So the posterior circulation consists of the, the, the posterior cerebral artery from the circulophilus, and we are going to talk about also the posterior communicating artery, which is a branch from the internal part of the artery. Regarding the posterior circulation, we have two vertebral arteries united in front of the bones to form the basilar artery. And then the basilar artery will give rise to the two terminal branches, the two uh, PCAs on the right side one, and there is one on the left side to supply the posterior and medial surface of the hemisphere. And then from the ICA, we have a, a branch that goes posteriorly and medially to be joined by the PCA to contribute to the posterior circulation, and that branch is the posterior communicating artery. So if you want to talk about the posterior circulation, we are starting from the basal artery. As we can see here, let's imagine this is a section in the middle brain, and this is uh, on the right side, and this is the left side. This is the basal artery in the, inter, uh, 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 in the basal cistern here between the two cerebri, uh, the crest cerebri, here's on the right and this is the left side, or the cerebral pedicles. So this is termed, this space is termed as the inter interpedicular space. Here we have the terminal or the tip of the basilar artery, which will give rise to the uh, two P PCAs. The first segment of the PCA is the P1 segment, which is termed as the pre-communicating segment in which the uh, posterior communicating artery running from the ICA going posteriorly to join the P1 segment to form the P2 segment of the PCA. Indeed, the P2 segment, as it goes laterally and posteriorly, and then goes posteriorly and medially, it has two segments within it. The first segment is termed as the P2A segment, or the cool segment as it passes just lateral to this cross cerebri of the middle brain, or in the coronal cistern, which is a cistern filled with the CSF. And then the P2P segment, the distal segment of the P2 segment of the PCA, which is termed as the ambient segment as it passes in the ambient cistern. So here is location of the ambient cistern. And as the PCA continues uh, to run posteriorly, the P3 segment, which is termed as the quadrigeminal segment, so the area Posterior to the middle brain is termed as the quadrigeminal cistern, which is filled with CSF, in which also the pineal gland is located. And then we have uh, uh, beyond the P3 segment, the P4 or the cortical branches or the cortical segment of the PCA. So here are the four segments of the PCA. In this figure, we are showing how the posterior communicating artery runs posteriorly from the ICA over here to join the P1 segment as it goes to, from the basilar artery to form the P2A segment and then continues the P2P segment, then P3 segment, and finally P4 segment of the posterior cerebral artery. And we can demonstrate the relationship of the PCA course with the middle brain over here. This is a drawing showing the middle brain over here and the posterior cerebral artery course. So here should be the P1 segment as it goes from the basilar artery, the P1 segment, here is the posterior communicating artery forming, they unite to form the P2 segment or the P2A segment. And here is the P2P segment here in the crural area or crural segment. And here's the ambient segment. And then the P3, the quadrigeminal segment, and then the cortical segment of the PCA, the P4. Here is the course of the PCA. Here is, uh, it should be the basal tip, giving rise to the P1 segment to be joined by the posterior communicating artery running from the ICA to form the P2A segment, P2P, P3, and P4 segments of the posterior cerebral artery. This is the medial surface of the left hemisphere, 
and this is the corpus callosum over here in the median uh, area and this is the course of the uh, posterior communicating artery as it comes from the ICA to go posteriorly to join the posterior cerebral artery, the P1 segment, to continue on to contribute to the posterior circulation. And here are the cortical area to be supplied by the PCA, including on the medial surface of the hemisphere, the posterior and medial surface, and the inferior surface, and also a strip on the lateral, posterior, and inferior surface. There is a condition in which it's called the fetal PCOM or, or the fetal posterior communicating artery. Usually, the posterior communicating artery is hypoplastic, while the P1 segment, which goes off the basilar artery, is usually the dominant supply for the posterior circulation. In the fetal PCOM, the, the posterior communicating artery, which goes from the ICA, remains the dominant uh, uh, vessel to supply the posterior circulation. Indeed, it's termed fetal because in the fetus, uh, usually the posterior circulation takes its blood supply from the carotid through the posterior communicating artery, which continues posteriorly as the PCA. But the adult type of the uh, posterior circulation gets its blood from the uh, basilar artery, and the two P P1 segments goes laterally to be joined by the PCA, uh, the PCOM, sorry, which contributes less than the PCA, the P1 segment, and goes posteriorly as the posterior communicating artery, the posterior cerebral artery. And here in this figure, you can see here, this, this is the basilar artery, and here we have the right PCA, and this is the left PCA, as how it's hypoplastic. And then here we have the right ICA, this is the left ICA, and this is the right PCOM, the posterior communicating artery, joining a, a dominant right PCA. So that's normal. But on the left side, the PCA, the P1 segment, and it is hypoplastic, and the uh, posterior communicating artery is, is the dominant. So this, this condition is termed as left fetal PCOM, this left fetal PCOM. And that concludes the uh, fifth part of this series regarding the vascular supply of the brain.